How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great and exceptional day. Alright, let's see what the deal is. Oops, not too bad. There we go. Alright, so, as I've said on a multitude of occasions, in person and of course definitely on social media, as of 2018, um, we're no longer living in the yes we can generation. I'm, and I'm saying this because it's an election year. You know, if it's not about talking about access to capital, protections, legal protections, and I always say to them, what the heck are we really talking about? That's the language of politics, regardless who's in the White House, Governor's House, or Mayor's House. So we're not living in the, and this is no shot against any politician that you may like. I don't, I don't do politicians, but um, we're not living in that era anymore. We're not living in the era of make America great again. We're living in the era, we're living in the era of, are we getting access to capital? whether you consider yourself a Democrat, Republican, or independent. Access to capital and protection. So these are the things that matter in a capitalist society. That's what makes America a wonderful place to be in. And I'll leave it at that. Because America is, you know, is being the wonderful nation that it is, it's a business. And if the conversation doesn't revolve around business and investments, then your politicians and CEOs are basically doing a great job of wasting your time and wasting my time and distracting you and distracting me. I call it the great distraction. All right. Anyways, so according to the article that I came across the other day, as these lovely women that you see behind me, Deborah Gladney and Angela Mawesi Hall, two sisters um, who founded an innovative career development platform called Quick Hire. They've raised more than $1 million in funding for the startup. They are the first black women in the state of Kansas to ever achieve this. And before I go on in business and investments, it's not always about what you know, but it's definitely who you know or who you have access to. And being around and constantly being in contact with people who may not want to own a business, but definitely want to own a piece of a business is what it's all about. And it's the first time I, in my lifetime I've, had, I've got to see in person, because I've seen it on, on television on Shark Tank a thousand times, but being at InvestBest, Invest Best 2024 down in Atlanta recently, I had the pleasure of seeing people actually pitch their businesses to investors. Um, and they were going to be able to pitch the business and get access to more funding. But the fact that they got to meet people and the fact that they were able to get access to people, not just to capital, because people can become capital. Capital is more than just money. It's the people and it's the information that you have access to. Access to capital. People, money, information. I'm just saying. I'll leave it at that. Okay. So, with that being said, um, like I said, it's a beautiful thing. Congratulations to them um, and all that good stuff. And uh, being an investor of a company with good potential, one can change their lives. Heck, I, they could definitely one can definitely change their lives. Heck, I learned from InvestFest at InvestFest from Will I Am, the rapper, is that not only does he own a successful AI company that I, that I, not, I did not know about, but he has built a nice economic portfolio by simply investing into start up companies. I.e., Will I Am invested into Tesla before Elon Musk bought it. But getting back to these great. I, uh, great ladies that um, I actually he actually invested eighty thousand dollars in the Tesla and you see where Tesla's at now and the money that he's made from his investment from Tesla he's not touched. All right. But these great ladies actually raised one point forty one million dollars in seed money round led by Math Venture Partners, which was also participated in by a number of venture capital firms. The duo said they particularly looked for investors who have shown support for a minority underserved founders which is smart because it's all about dealing with people who have a great track record providing service like investing to others going into the background of these great entrepreneurs Muwazi Hall who previously worked as a, as a career and an educational advisor at Volunteers of America first thought of the idea of creating a platform that would connect job seekers to blue collar service industry jobs in 2017 when she saw how complicated the application system was People in the blue collar industry have faced decades of neglect and career stifling, unfair play. I can definitely believe this, especially good fact that 
unless one works for a reputable blue collar corporation who actually has a track record of constantly ensuring that their employees had the opportunity to advance in their careers, i.e. becoming a master plumber, electrician, etc., then what's the point of staying with your company? And a lot of times, this is um, why a lot of people, some but not all, in, in the blue collar world, you know, once they get their skill sets up, end up working for themselves because they do not see the pathway of being able to advance with their skill traits unless they obtain their own businesses. The article ended on this note stating that these two women began looking for a solution to help non-college students in their career development. Ultimately, in April of 2021, this remember this is freshly in the, to a year with it into the pandemic, they launched Quick Hire, which helps the service industry hire and retain workers while allowing job seekers to discover career opportunities that are suitable for them. Since then, plat- the platform, their platform, has been thriving, especially during the pandemic, with over. 60 paying clients and nearly 12,000 job seekers. It took a global pandemic for everybody else to realize it when people didn't want to live, the, leave their house or when they needed people to deliver their groceries. Blue collar workers kept the wheels turning and made it even more clear that these types of roles that are the backbone of the United States of America um, are, are essential and these people should be treated accordingly um, and w- with respect and dignity. And I could not agree with those statements more made by uh, Mrs. Gladney with that, um, because that's just a reality. Heck, that's why truck drivers and other blue collar workers were made, made out economically when it came to making money moves and making money during the pandemic. Because moreover, they uh, the, new found, the new funding would help the company expand its reach nationwide and improve its technologies to gain larger clients. And I say, kudos, congrats, and keep up the great work, young ladies. Don't forget to check out Larry's Anything Goes Online store. Uh, we sell a variety of products. I will be adding and um, deleting things from the online store this weekend. But I will be ensuring that I fulfill any orders that come in. And remember, on that note, family, you can't get fired if you own a company. This is of these ladies own a great company. And I'm sure they'll do well. And I'm sure they'll do great with any other ventures that they pursue. As always, say to do great three things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Make money moves. Are you going to live like a fool? Take care. Thank you to all the current and future subscribers. Thank you for those who like the content. Thank you for those who comment. I need to say this more and more and more because you help the algorithm go and um, you help with those simple things. You help push out the content. Thank you for those who um, have donated to my Cash App. Thank you for those who donated to my PayPal Venmo. And thank you to those who just watch um, the the content and whatnot. Because there's a bunch of content out there that you could watch and you could just pass by, skip, skim through mine, skim through mine and say, you know what, this isn't for me. So I just thank you. So as I always say, take care and have a great day.